Welcome to the lecture Matrix Surgical Procedures. In the workflow of the matrix, we are at the beginning and start with the implant placement. To place in matrix implants, I would like to introduce you to the TRI Surgical Kit. Uh, you see it's a lean um, kit, with, uh, on, we always start on the top left side with the lens drill. You can see here the lens drill with its black mark on 7 mm depth. And then there's all the following drills with the different diameters uh, we, um, available for the different diameters of implants. Here is the drivers for the performance line, this blue, green and red one. And here is the driver for the matrix implants followed by the prosthetic driver, the classical hexagon driver for all our prosthetic screws. Um, we have here the parallel pins and for example, for the angulated screw, the 2.6 screw in the um, matrix system, you can add here uh, the 2.6 um, um, angulated screwdriver, dynamic screwdriver in the extra slot. Here is uh, some useful drill stops, which you would use with the pilot drill, because the pilot drill is the only drill in the system which cuts into the depth. All following drills are cutting the dimension for placing the right uh, juiced implant. Then we have some more helpful um, stuff here to show. Uh, here, this is a scale with these black white marks, which uh, can help you to control um, if you have the right um, um, depth for your implant. So you can see here our implant length, 6, 8, 10, 11, 13, and 16 millimeter. And below here, you have a millimeter scale where you can control at the last time if your implant has the right length um, for the for the situation. Then we have a torque control and an adapter here to adapt each of these um, isonormed uh, drills uh, to this adapter and to your torque wrench. Going more into the details, we um, um, have here, as I already mentioned, the black white scale um, for our different implant length, a long and a short um, um, pilot drill. And um, for example, we can place the bone level with um, uh, 11.5 millimeter. Here we have the 0.5 millimeter uh, machined neck. And for the mu matrix um, multi-level implant, it is important that you always think before you place the multi-level implant. We know we have this concave design and we can place it multi-level. That means if you want to drill, for example, here, 11.5 millimeters, um, a, a little bit subcrystal with this um, um, anodized neck, with this pink anodized neck, you have to make sure that you already use with the pilot drill a depth for maybe up to 13 millimeter. And then you have uh, later on a little bit space here to place the implant, uh, like we say it in a multi-level situation. Um, um, I want to introduce you also to the um, soft bone and the dense bone drill in the system. Each diameter of implant has a soft and a dense bone drill and the difference is the diameter. So um, we have uh, a slightly cylindrical implant as you can see here, but we have um, parallel um, step drills. And so the first step of the soft bone drill, for exa by example, for 4.1 diameter implant would be 3.0 millimeter. And for the um, soft for the dense bone drill, it would be 3.2. Uh, here uh, is the, the next step is 3.4 for the soft bone drill and 3.9 for the dense bone drill. Another useful help is that we marked our dense bone drill with a white ring. So when you want to, after washing process and your assistant wants to place uh, correctly the 4.1 drill, the dense bone drill, in this place, um, you, you have only just to check that the white marked uh, rings are here compared in per comparison to the um, white rings on your um, surgical kit. Okay, getting more in the details of the drilling protocol with an example of a 4.1 diameter implant. We start, as I already mentioned, always with the lens drill with this seven millimeter mark uh, or the rose drill followed by the pilot drill. Again, the pilot drill is the only one cutting into the depth. Then for a 4.1 implant, we we're going to skip the 3.3 um, uh, final drill. We just continue directly with the soft bone drill or 3.7. Uh, 
We skip again the dense bone drill of 3.7 and continue with actually the final drill, soft bone drill 4.1 for a very soft bone. If you have a more dense bone, you would use the dense bone drill as well. But um, just as a tip, don't use the dense bone drill only in really cortical bone all the way down. Use the dense bone drill maybe just um, the first uh, four millimeter that the crestal area is a little bit wider and you take out the compression of this area. And also the, the tap which is here uh, is only used in really dense bone. Here is uh, the protocol for all diameters, um, the drilling protocol. Um, good important to know is that all drills have their own um, drilling speed and it's always written besides that the drill how um, you should um, how much uh, RPM you should use for each uh, drill please make sure that you make this correctly because you know heating up the bone leads to uh, maybe bone loss and that's why it's important to use this correctly after the instruction for use of TRI um we have also included in our surgical kit this uh, drilling usage sheet which you can easily add into your um, sterilization room and your assistant can always make a cross that you can know um, how many times you did use the drill and when you know and you know when it's time to exchange into a new drill also uh, included is this um, nice sheet here so this helps the assistant to sort every drill and every tool in the right position and as well it has always included the article number so in case you want to renew one of your tools it's easy to find the right um, article number here. Continuing with the tier iPod, the unique touchless delivery concept um, you can see here this is our packaging, packaging the three pot the iPod is um, uh, um, including the implant there is no um, implant um, connector in, in, in the packaging, you have uh, a di direct access, you can place this implant uh, with the hand by hand, you can place it uh, with your handpiece or with a torque control. Um, to open the drip pod, it's always packed in a, a black box in a carton, just take the lid from below and rip it open as you can see it here, then you can take out the blister, the sterilized blister in the packaging and the blister is going to be opened from this three angle below here, you open the blister and then you can drop the tier three pot, the sterilized three pot on the sterilized uh, surgical uh, plate um, and then um, you open the lid easily from the side and you are ready to place the matrix implant. Um, for placing the matrix implant, it's necessary that you take either the long or the short matrix driver out of your surgical kit and the driver has like three grooves and these three grooves you can uh, press slightly into the grooves in the implant and then you feel a, a nice friction and when you reach this friction you can just break off the implant and uh, start to placing the implant as I already mentioned by handpiece, by hand with the adapter or um, also with the torque control and uh, this is how you can place the matrix implant easily in the patient's mouth. Um, the implant uh, insertion torque is for the implant 40 newton centimeters and an important note all the cover screws or temporary restoration should have at least a torque of 50 newton centimeters just for your information the cover screws are not included in the packaging of the matrix implant so if you want to have a closed um, healing you need to uh, get um, uh, the cover screw either for platform 37 implants or platform for five implants. Um, the last uh, step here is the automat uh, cleaning uh, sterilization. Uh, we included in our um, surgical kit these um, holders which are after the denorm um, um, available for automatic uh, cleaning uh, tools or automatic dishwashers so you can leave the tools inside of the of the surgical kit and the dishwasher can wash it um, easily. 
from my point of view it is necessary that you um, will um, download the instruction for use because there it's included all information needed for um, for the sterilization process and so on please go on our website and make sure that you download and print out once the instruction for use of the TRI implants thank you for listening see you in the next part mm -hmm.